morning everyone I thought it best to go ahead and talk to you about what's planned for 3d art the Michelangelo paper that I put into your Google classroom is due next Friday and what this entails is a comparison study it's not just the typical when was he born when did he die what kind of artwork did he did what was the culture but it's all about who the artist is in comparison to other artists of his time. Michelangelo was one of several Renaissance artists that did the same themes as other artists did. You will look at the David, you look at the Pieta, and you look at the Moses through Michelangelo's eyes. But how did Donatello, how did these other artists who were also Renaissance artists, create sculptures to honor those three individuals, or those four individuals, actually. If you look at the Pieta, this tells the story of what happened as Christ was taken down from the cross and Mary was holding on to him. The emotion that a mother would feel with her dead son in her arms. There's a lot of detail in this sculpture. It is the only sculpture that Michelangelo actually signed and that was done because no one believed that a young man could do that. They thought, no, this is from someone who's much, much older. The second sculpture that we look at is the David. Now, we know for a fact that David did kill Goliath. We know that he did it with a stone and his sling. But it's very, very unlikely. In fact, I would say definitely unlikely that he went into battle without wearing anything, that he was naked for that. What Michelangelo was trying to tell us was that David was encountering Goliath based solely on his dependence of God and in his God to win that battle. He had the opportunity to, to wear armor. In fact, Saul the king offered him the armor, but Saul's armor didn't fit David, and David didn't feel like he needed it anyway. He had God. And what Michelangelo was trying to tell us was it was as if David was going in unarmed to meet the giant. The third statue that we look at is Moses. We know the story of Moses and bringing down the Ten Commandments from Mount Sinai. But there's something unusual about this statue, and that is if you look closely at the head of Moses, he has two horns. Now, Michelangelo isn't saying that he is satanic or that there's some kind of demon about Moses. What he is saying to us is directly from Scripture. And if we read the story of Moses coming down from the mountain, it says that beams of light shone from Moses' face. Now, in painting, that would be easy to portray. But what Michelangelo did for us is he did it with two single horns of light or horns in the marble to depict those horns of light. Those three sculptures by Michelangelo are totally amazing in themselves and tell the story quite well. But what I'm asking you to do is I'm asking you to look for other artists from that same time period and ask how did they tell the story of Moses? How did they tell the story of the David and Goliath? How did they tell the story of Christ coming down from the cross? Those depictions by other artists and how they did it are very similar to how you guys are doing your totem pole. Some of you may be doing the same characters as the person next to you or across the room from you, but I am certain that they're not going to look the same. And it's not because of talent. It's because of the way you interpret the individual. It's the position, the expression on that person's face. You're going to change and make that totem pole uniquely yours regardless if all of you were doing the same three or four characters. This is the purpose for this assignment, to see how someone else does the same project as you but interprets it differently. When you complete this assignment, I don't want you to do the usual thing where what you do is you photograph the paper and then you upload it into Google Classroom. This time, I do want you to use Google Doc. 
And this time I do want you to remember to give me permission so that I can read it. This is extremely important. And this document needs to be three paragraphs because it takes a paragraph to at least open up what you're saying. It has a second paragraph to support what you're saying and your third paragraph to wrap it up in conclusion. There are two questions. It's due next Friday. You have plenty of time to research this. I do want you to enjoy your weekend. And remember, Monday will be a red day. Now today, on Friday, if you wish to ask questions, if you want to get a hold of me, I'm going to be available online in a Google Meet at 10 o'clock this morning and again at 1 o'clock. It'll probably only be for a half an hour or so, but I will be available for you if you have a question or you're curious about something. In the meantime, enjoy your breakfast. Have a great day.